so welcome back so what we are discussing we are discussing different types of code coverages so which is uh, explained uh, with an uh, coverage flow how the coverage flow will be there so now let us look at on uh, how your functional coverage will be done uh, what are all the things which can be covered uh, under an uh, a functional coverage and what parameters will looks for an a functional coverage so normally the functional coverage will be tied to the design intent and it sometimes which will be called as an spec coverage also so because we are doing all my analysis uh, with respect to an a specification uh, coverages so so, so that, that so it is also called as an a functional uh, specification coverage so the design specification details uh, will be considered with respect to the device uh, how it should be operated and how it goes to uh, do an very uh, with an a verification plan what are all the functionalities you need to be uh, considered for a simulation to an a verification to an a measurement so there is in different aspects to uh, to be considered in a verification plan these functionalities uh, to the simulation to the verification and to the measurement uh, also so what is the major factors which should be looks at on on this functional coverage majorly we looks at on on this functional coverage so on this uh, the design specification so the overriding of the design specification itself will be directed uh, to measure the bugs so once the bugs are obtained so we need to measure all the bugs in an a, either in a direct or indirect way so if you are measuring the total bug obtained so from the directed to an indirect methods so will be looks at an at what rate uh, you can expect the fresh bugs to be uh, in the design so so that we can say an indirect way to measure the coverage is to look at the rate at which fresh bugs are found fresh bugs are can to be considered so with respect to that we can say the bug rate drops hopefully to zero as the design nears to an a tape out so once we are going to an a tape out time uh, the tape out time uh, uh, at the tape out time so the bugs needs to be an a approximately to be an a zero so if it is not that then the design is not very well found so so that we need to go back and we need to redesign whole thing so until unless it uh, drops to an a zero so the bug rate will be vary depending on uh, the factors many factors which is so where and all you are looking for an a projects so how and all your projects will be phased out so in a different aspects so where and all you thinks on the design changes recent design uh, aspects so where and all you looks for uh, the integrations so maybe uh, an a blocks integration maybe an a subsystem integration etc 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 and so maybe on the uh, characteristic changes on the blocks uh, uh, depending on uh, what to be con what you are considered and depending on what you are expecting to be considered uh, and even so the vacation schedules also so in between that so where you are dropping out and where you are uh, inserting it so it's also goes on happens so so that we can say the bug rate will be vary uh, in a week based so with these factors what you are considering it so the bug rate again may not be a constant throughout the project phases throughout the design phases from the initial to an at a port time so it will be goes on varies with respect to that from uh, a, a block to an a block a changes a, a, a design aspect to an a design aspect etc 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 so this is the simplest analysis with respect to bugs and an a time so at the initial stages the bugs is goes on integrate uh, increases you can see there so the bugs rate uh, per week is goes on increases in the design review time so until unless you make out an uh, integration so this bug rate will be an very high uh, it will be reaches to an very high 
as the time progress and you are correcting the bugs, it may decrease uh, slowly and you are obtaining the changes to an, a new code. So, that new code again derives to an, a new bugs, uh, which, is, which can be considered or which can be defined also. So, so maybe uh, with respect to different aspects of the time, so these uh, design uh, values will be goes on uh, uh, varies. So, at this point the uh, values will be very high. So, at this point the values will be um, may, um, may not be low, may be at a saturative end. So, and again it will be iterative process. So, it is a zigzag fashion, it goes on increases, it goes on increase, it decreases. So, until unless it finds out um, a satisfactory appearances which, which, which tells us how your design will be uh, maintained. So, this is a very good phase, so where the bugs will be uh, satisfactory obtained, but so th which may not be continued for a longer time. So, if you continue for a longer time, so the design may, uh, may not be get delivered at the expected time. So, because this achievement with respect to this, it will become a longer uh, duration. So, that is why, so we need to, we, this will be very satisfactory for a small period of a time, so but it is not uh, for an, a longer period of a time. So, if any insertion of an, a new verification engineer or new verification methodology or new verification plan, so then again the bug rate is very high. So, because he needs to understand this design review what happened, this up to this point integration, new DUT code where and all <laughs> you corrected it, where and all you find out a bug, so where and all you said the bugs are uh, useful, uh, uh, where and all the bugs are uh, unuseful. So, all those things, so you need to understand such as that, so the design, um, uh, the buck rate will be increases, so as the new uh, verification engineers are introduced. So, yes, it is proceeds with the time, at the type tape out time, it is said that it is approximately 0, but again at a DFT time, the bug rate may be slightly increases, maybe it is corrected at an a DMT period. Um, where you think uh, the total design um, will be validated um, uh, with an a, a chip which is taped out, uh, peri uh, which, which is taped out. So, the DMT period uh, may be with respect to uh, the external hazards than with an internal hazards. The external hazards may be your uh, environment, so may be your um, uh, um, um, may be your operating conditions, so uh, may be your signal level, so the simulation signal level to an operating signal level, etcetera, etcetera, etcetera will be goes on uh, varies uh, with uh, those parameters. So, that is about the functional coverage. So, we have another one coverage which is uh, uh, majorly measures uh, all variety of triggering events. Uh, or asserted events which occurs uh, in my uh, functional analysis, which is called as an assertion coverage. So, the assertion coverage normally measures, so the things which is asserted, the signals or the design which is asserted, the blocks which is asserted and the signals which are triggered during your process of uh, verification. So, how much you will consider those signals under that coverage, how many, how your functionality will be taken care, this assertion and an uh, which are triggered uh, in, in that process of testing or an verification will be called as an assertion very, uh, coverages. So, assertion coverages majorly depend on the assertions which is inserted in the verification process or inserted in the design verification process. So, these assertions are the small declarative code, uh, maybe a, a large uh, block will be segregated into an, a small small chunks and small small chunks will be considered uh, uh, to assert at a period of a time. So, that assertion will be checked for the relationship under the design signals, uh, which is to be uh, maintained uh, at different variety uh, of or different period of a time um, uh, 
where variety of its appearance can be considered. So, maybe let us say, so in a T1 time period, I have an signal level uh, with a noise margin as an uh, x units. So, uh, again at a time period T2, the noise margin, the signal level with a noise margin of x2 can be expected. It goes on varies. So, as uh, the design signal varies either once or a over a, a period of a time, so this overall strength of the signal uh, or the appearance of the signal will be goes on uh, varied with respect to uh, that uh, may be different from different aspects, so which is uh, taken in consideration to those uh, values. So, most familiarly, so we look for the errors, so where the two signals are occurred or obtained mutually exclusive principles or so we make an a request, so which is never followed by a grant. So, we had a request which is never followed uh, by a grant. So, that is, so mutually exclusive means may not be, uh, if it is mutually inclusive, so then both are having a good synchronization principle. If both are mutually exclusive, then there is no uh, synchronization. So, that synchronization may be delivered to an a more number of asserting problems or asserting errors. So, that asserting errors, so may be de derived in a different aspects of your design uh, signal values. So, the one best example is whenever you are going for a protocol uh, implementation, so we need to have a request, for every request we need to have a grant, but the appearance of the request to an a grant, uh, the time period of appearance of request to an a grant will be different. So, maybe the grant is very early declared, uh, early generated, so before the request is complete completed or the, uh, the whole request time itself will be consumed by an uh, the grant time, etcetera, etcetera, etcetera or the uh, major familiar uh, assertion errors, so which can be derived, so in an assertion coverages. So, these assertions can also be checks for different aspects. So, let us say, so if it is an a data path analysis, then we will go with an arbitration algorithms. So, we have a n number of uh, arbitration algorithms, all those algorithms will be considered for these assertions, which puts on a different property to define. So, those properties will be called as an asset properties. So, that asset properties is nothing but a characteristics, which is checked for this assertion on this triggering, on this triggering values. So, FIFOs, first in, first outs, all your memories will be checked for its insertion and an a, a, a readout and an writeout uh, values. So, maybe the, that works on the principle of an FIFO. So, we will, the, all the assertions will be checked for this FIFO analysis. So, and depending on the other hardware, let us say, say if I have an ALU, uh, uh, I will check for uh, how your uh, code will be considered to set the flags. So, will be the one condition to set the, to check the assertion, etcetera, etcetera, etcetera. So, all these values will be considered or checked with an coded with these, their properties as an a statement. So, those statements will be called as an assert property statements. So, which varies with 1 to 1 or 1 to many. Some assertions might in, might look for interesting signal values or design states, uh, which may be varies uh, 1 to 1 or 1 to um, many. Uh, uh, if I say signal varies from 1.8 volts to and a 2.2 volts, so that signal values will be defined, uh, the variation from 1.8 to an a 2.2 volts. So, that 0.4 volts variation itself will be considered as an a one assertion uh, or many assertion values, which may be very interesting to seek the response variation in that signal uh, values. So, maybe your events occurrence from 0, 0 to an 1, 1 or 1, 1 to an a 0, 1, etcetera, etcetera is also one interesting point to look at on the design changes, uh, the design occurrence with respect to an a signal values. So, are your design changes, states changes, so will be the another one example. 
for uh, all these uh, parameters. So, the design states in, this, in respect to the one example is a bus transactions, how successfully you will do on a bus transactions. So, for every bus transaction we need to have a request, we need to have a grant, once the bus is free then only we need to transmit otherwise, so there is a congestion which is occurred so in the buses. So, that is why we have an, a, uh, uh, to check all these things with any different assertion principles. So, that assertion principles will be called as an network on chip uh, assertion principles. We have a different category to see uh, all this bus transaction under this uh, criteria, NOC criteria. Observe sequence of signals which is coded with cover property statements. So, if I defined 1.82 and a 2.2 volts. So, under this 1.8 and a 2.8 volts, so how your uh, overall uh, signals appearance will be covered, so will be defined with respect to its property. So, maybe so this property under this signals may be covered noise margin high and a noise margin low. So, that, that is also one factor to be defined for these values. So, so, so that we have an n number of characteristics or n number of property statements, so which can be covered uh, to do this uh, assertional uh, values the, to the, to, to the uh, major assertional uh, values. So, which explains us also and a, a, a major functional cover strategies uh, which uh, makes out the major um, uh, factors needs to be explained in a different values. So, keep it in mind the methodology what we have defined will be the very good explanatory to cover uh, to define this FT strategies. So, uh, once that methodology will be borrowed here, so now we need to check it out how uh, well so you can uh, come out with an a good coverage uh, principles under uh, these uh, categories. So, that is why. So, as we have defined there a stimulus, so stimulus is not is an a, a major point where you are uh, triggering uh, the coverages, uh, triggering the functionality uh, testing or functionality verification. So, which can be considered um, for to generate of a response. So, now, so we need to list out in a table, so normally, so we will make out in a table. Uh, those uh, appearances uh, uh, which will be uh, explains us uh, 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 to defining uh, uh, the stimulus and an responses at a time periods at a different time periods so so every stimulus will be recorded with an a responses so we need to cover this information the deviation which is occurred not with what the data you obtained it so, so, that so the first strategy to define your functionality or functional coverage is to gather these type of information from the stimulus to an a responses with respect to an a, a time. So, which makes us to measure what we are thinking and what we are defining also for a particular uh, uh, value. So, which makes us to define a functionally uh, coverage completeness uh, or the overall coverage uh, co coverage uh, occurrences, the percentage of coverage occurrences. So, under this, so, so that we can uh, also uh, see how well your coverage occurs uh, under this uh, plan. So, once you start a project your code coverage will be at a lower end, your functional coverage at a lower end. So, I am just comparing with my strategy with the code coverage and on a functional coverage. So, at the initial point of your project, so the code coverage and an a, a functional coverage cover, uh, consideration is very low. Uh, as you move on to an a higher end, so let us say, so once you move on to an a, a, a more points, uh, more corner cases if you are included, 
So then the functional coverage will be very high as compared to anechoic coverage because you are in inserting only an a, a, a characteristics of your design. So, so, so that so the functional coverage will be makes more effect so than the code coverage. So let us say if your design is complete, so but you need to try try with an a formal tools. So then the code coverage thinks that it has its uh, uh, complete appearance. Uh, the design completion itself will be seeks to it. So the total code coverage will be very good. So 100 percent code coverage will be uh, done. So, but the functionality still we need to have because you need to go with some other formal fun tools to check this functionality. So, so that so the uh, the category still so it uh, for a functional coverage at an a lower uh, end. Um, so, if if you checked with an a very good bug rate, if you have an very good bug rate, so then you will say it has an a good coverage where both the coverages. Uh, functional coverage and a code coverage will be results with an a good coverage uh, values or high coverage uh, uh, values. So we expect all the project should have to start and linearly reaches this point, but practically it is not possible, but it may goes this way to reach or it may goes this way to reach or it may goes this can also be happen some cases. So when you start of the project. So you need to go with the so many corner cases, then once your corner cases are solved, so then you will go for design complete with a, I do need <coughs> check out with an a formal tools once it is done. So then you move on to and to check out the coverage, uh, full coverage uh, values. So that is a major factor to see how your strategy will be works out to seek the completeness of the functional coverage values. So what do we need to think? So we need to think on these cases. So how you are uh, going on covering so different uh, uh, set of values, maybe a corner coin, corner cases, maybe a point, so maybe an conditional points, maybe an a, a triggering point, etc., etc., explicit point, implicit point, etc., etc., etc. So that's why. So in system very lot. So we will create an a group. So that group itself we are calling it as an a, a, a cover group. So in this cover group, so we will have, uh, we will define uh, a similar objective classes. That similar objective classes will be initiates uh, uh, their uh, characteristic values, the coverage values. So defined uh, maybe at once uh, or it may be repeatedly with respect to their uh, bug rate uh, values. So, so that as the bug rate is goes on increases, so, uh, so, so your definement under this cover group is also goes on um, uh, increases. So that is a very uh, simplest uh, form of uh, the parameters. So we looks more on uh, this uh, coverage uh, uh, values. So, which makes us to think uh, more rapidly on under these coverage values. So, what it will we do? So, it initially samples the data values, so all the data values and the transaction during the simulation. So, once data values are appeared, so and the transaction are considered, so for different uh, uh, values, so these uh, characteristics or these appearances goes on changes uh, uh, with respect to that simulation time also. So, so that so we need to have an a reference data samples, uh, samples which considers for a set of data values to an a transaction. It is a simplest form what I told. So we have an a, a, a table, cover group table. So in that cover group table we have a time period, we have an stimulus, we have an a responses. These data values we will have. But we will gather the information of the differences for the functional coverage, but the data values will be presented over there. So which covers the cover points, options, formal arguments and an optional triggers. So the cover points may be an a corner points, so may be an a, a uh, group points, 
so maybe an a conditional points etc 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 options may be an a, a depending on the switch case options or depending on the event triggering options etc we can consider the formal arguments which is defined so optional trigger which is given maybe let us say see if i am writing for an uh, asynchronous reset uh, design so we have a two triggering point triggering signals one is a clock and another one is a reset so which one should be considered clock should be an high prioritized one than a reset a reset should be considered first than an a clock so that should be uh, explains us if any one occurs so a reset or an a clock the whole uh, block will goes for an execution so the another one will becomes an optional over there so that is what the one case where you will looks for the optional triggering point there is one example i am given similarly we can have a, a, a n number of examples which is defined so in your uh, designed models so which can be defined in a class or at the program or at an a module level so the cover group normally in a class uh, that class will contains a number of objectives so objects that objects which is considered uh, through the crts random stimulus or which can be considered uh, uh, also uh, to your uh, test bench program so uh, yet different levels so maybe at an a block level so maybe defining it on a module level etc 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 it can be sample any visible variable such as program module variables signals from an interface or any signals in the design so will be the better point uh, for us to define so these uh, parameters so a cover group inside a class uh, which can be sample variables in that class so which goes on varies which goes on explains us um, these sample uh, variables which is defined in the class so i think i have an example in the future slides we will see that how this cover group will be covered on those aspects uh, of the designs as well as data values from the embedded classes so different uh, embedded uh, classes we can take up uh, so this cover group uh, values also this data values also so a class can contains multiple cover groups so i am just giving a simple example so let us say i have an a apb uh, i have an a address and a data bus so for my processor design so i will choose my address line as an a02 a8 or a7 my data lines as an a8 to 2 a Uh, D15 or AD8 to 2 AD15. Let us say so. I am defining a cover group for this. So as it is only an address line, I will have A0 to 2 A7 in one cover group. Similarly, this is an address and a data line. So I am defining this in this an another one cover group. So both but both will be appear so in a single class. Call it as an a. Uh, uh, bus class or an uh, address data bus class so that is the one simplest example how you can cover the multiple cover groups so the appearance may be the same but the characteristics at these two ends will be the different so that's what so we are mentioning uh, in a class the appearance at the class will be the same both are buses may be a unidirectional or may be an bidirectional so but the uh, directionality the duplex appearance full duplex to an half loop duplex or to an a duplex appearances <coughs> will be different from a not to a7 or ad8 to an a ad15 values so this approach will makes you to separate the groups uh, that can be enabled now now you know that so this can be enabled with an a cas uh, column address selections or an address selection so this will be addressed or selected with an ras row address selections right so we have as different um, uh, options to select these values enable or disable when you need it so that will makes us to trigger um, uh, or to analyze these cover groups in a different 
reasons or different values. So, that is why so the feature of execution or the feature of characterizing this will be different from this. So, the in the same class I can have so these type of uh, cover groups. So, how it will be taken care? So, normally a cover group will be initiated uh, for to collect the data. This is the one set of table which shows an, a set of cover group uh, uh, appearances. So, maybe you are stimulus to an a request or an a request to an a, a, a grant, so etcetera, etcetera, etcetera. <coughs> so, in all classes you should have to have a explicit initiation. So, once uh, or to start your sampling uh, values. So, that explicity uh, will be defined in a different uh, aspects of the time. So, the two major parts of functional coverage are the sample data values and time when they are sampled. So, the two things which needs to be considered are two parameter which makes us to sense uh, the cover group or to do an functional coverage is the sampling the data values and so time when they are sampled. So, there is a two factors which needs to be uh, explains us to consider. When new values are ready such as when a transaction has complete the test bench triggers the cover group. So, that is a different aspects to look at on um, uh, all these uh, values uh, for a particular uh, cover groups uh, which needs to be considered. So, keep it in mind. So, your test bench uh, uh, needs to be equipable. So, all these cover groups uh, to do all the transaction which is mentioned for these new values. So, because so all the new values what all you are defined. So, what all the uh, test vectors you are defined. So, which is makes and triggering of an a cover group. So, may not be considered uh, as an a transactional values. So, 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 our major interest to be considered all, but practically so it would not be happen. So, for those uh, values. So, this is the simplest cases where you look at on. So, the factor. So, what we need to look at on? We need to look at on the sample data values and the time uh, when um, uh, the time when you need to think on uh, uh, these sampling of the values. So, uh, nothing but so we are explaining all your test vectors what role you are defining should have to go from the sampled values. First you need to sample the values means you are need to generate the stimulus and you need to think on when to apply it. The simplest case in the previous test bench what you have written at 10 nanosecond right A will be equal to 0 simply right. So, what it is mentioning I am sampling a A value as an a 0. So, which should be considered at a time of 10 nanosecond from 0 to 10 nanoseconds or at a 10 nanoseconds. It should have to hold that value A equal to 0 for 10 nanosecond periods, 10 nanosecond period. So, that is what I am saying this is for the sampling the values, this is for your the time when they are need to be sampled. So, similarly, if I say at positive edge of the clock this is also one sampling at the positive edge of clock we are defining and a, a time period to collect the data of the clock when this time occurs. So, when this time occurs I am collecting a data which goes from 0 to and 1 that is a sampling of data values. So, these are the some of the examples how you need to think on uh, the functional coverage on these uh, aspects. So, let us look at on how you can initiate the uh, cover groups uh, uh, may, 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 may be uh, interdependent may be an uh, extra uh, dependent. So, I am just going on giving out uh, from here onwards a simplest uh, um, programs which can be explains as all these values. So, you do remember. 
So, all the factors which is uh, you studied till now, uh, because the functional coverage is the one which is utilizes all the uh, concepts you have studied uh, uh, in this course uh, from module 1, 2, 3 and 4 to this point, including your CRTs, uh, randomizations. Okay. So, what I am doing? So, I am creating an a class called as an transactor. So, in this transactor, I am defining a cover group, so which is called as an cover port. So, you need to tell me what I am doing here. So, transaction will be the signal TR, the mailbox will be you are collecting where your bins, where your data should be. So, that should be M box in. So, you, you make a transaction, so that is the sampling of the values, so under an TR. So, cover groups, cover port, what I want to cover here? So, I want to cover the transactions which is occur on TR. So, that is why I will create a one cover group, that cover groups will be checks the transaction which is occurred on an a port, which is occurred on a port. So, you need to point it out, so where you want to do. So, that is why I will say cover group, this is the cover group name, Conver cover group port or cow port. So, I am making and pointing, this is my signal, uh, this is my uh, database which is looks for what I want to do. So, cover point, so I want to point cover pointing and variable transaction which is named as an TR dot so port so which is presented in a port. So, what I will look uh, need to do for all the transaction what I want to do? I want to initiate this transaction to occur. So, that is why I will calling a function. So, function new mailbox. So, all the events uh, initiation should be stored in the mailbox. So, that is why I am taking the mailbox m box in this is the return values for this function. So, what I am doing? So, I am taking a new initiation and I am applying to this cover port that is one transaction which is occurring on this cover port. So, what I will do? What all the initiation is done will be stored in this mailbox m box in. So, this dot m box in. So, I will do it with respect to this command. So, I will store in some uh, commanded values. I will end the function. So, task main. So, forever begin. So, tr m box in dot get. So, get that next transaction. So, I will do repetitively this one. So, what I will do? So, I will send this transaction which is stored in my mailbox in the tr dot port to my design values. That is I will consider C B dot port with an a constraint which will be send it over there. Similarly, I will send the data also. So, I F C dot C B dot data which is taken from transaction values. So, cover port sample which gathers the information. So, gathers the coverages. So, which is occurs on an a cover ports. So, this is simple end task. Uh, so, which uh, which will be done to gather the information. So, now your cover port is an a database which has all the transaction which is occurred under a sample values, under a sample values. So, three functions, one is creating a cover group, then defining an a sampling initiation. So, then defining an a, a a, a, a database where you want to store or applying that to your uh, transact DOTs, so, so that so your values will be there. So, these is three are common, so in any every program uh, of an a cover group. So, this is simply I am doing an a bus transaction, so I am storing all the bus transaction uh, in an a, a sample values. So, that bus transaction is doing the data transfer. So, that is nothing but I am doing an a memory bus transaction, bus transactions. So, what I am looking at here? A set of cover points. So, these two are the cover points what I am taking are. 
So, you can have n number of uh, n set of cover points. So, cross coverage between the coverage points. So, different coverage points you can define. So, to do this cross, cross coverage. So, here I am not having any cross coverage to do that. So, you can have different cross coverages to do in a different groups for these uh, values uh, for these considerations. So, what I have, what I need to uh, have. Uh, uh, similarly, so an event that uh, So, that event that defines when the cover group is sampled, uh, it may be uh, different from different to sample an event over there. So, here I am sampling only the uh, new transactions uh, and from there I am getting the transactions. So, others options to configure cover coverage objects. So, you can have n number of options to do this coverage uh, objects also. So, what uh, we look for to do this coverage options, the major thing is in all these aspects. So, the coverage options will be the one, so which needs to be considered uh, to analyze your design values. So, so that so we need to have an a, a different coverage options, so which specifies your characteristics of your covering cover groups also specify additional information in the cover group using the options. So, we can have a cover group comment which can add a comment into coverage reports to ma make them easier to analyze uh, different factors uh, which needs to be considered to do that. So, that will be the uh, one thing which, which, uh, which, need, which, which, which needs to be considered over there. So, cover group, cover port, option dot comment section 3.2.14 port numbers. So, these are comments I am giving out. So, whenever that cover port occurs. So, this is the one, this is the major uh, uh, things which needs to be taken care. So, I am just defining it as an a comment values. So, which comments on what port I am considering it. Okay. So, cover point port end group. So, this is the one parameters option is a command. So, which takes the cover group uh, coverage option. So, you can have a comment, you can have a sample, you can have an a message, etcetera, 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 length uh, to define uh, the cover points, uh, etcetera, 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 for this to uh, define it or to consider uh, these point um, uh, values. So, pre instance coverages if the test bench initiates a coverage group multiple times. By default, uh, in a system where you log, we can have a, a, a coverage data from all the instances we can consider, we can togetherly we can consider to define uh, these values. It keeps track of coverage for in each instances. So, cover group, cover length, cover point, transaction dot length, options dot per instance will be equal to 1. So, this is the simplest uh, cover group analysis which needs to be uh, considered. So, coverage threshold values uh, which needs to be definable at a different uh, uh, factors um, where and all you can take. So, I am just defining it um, uh, with respect to uh, the coverage threshold values. So, this coverage threshold, so I am considered with an a, a at least values. So, which takes no direct way to measure the coverages. It is putting an minimum minimum values to consider. It is also an optional value. You can have an optional value how you are considered here with an a comment. Option at least. So, what uh, values you can have. So, under this cover group level. So, it applies to all cover points with an a minimum values what you have. So, where you are collecting all these values, you are collecting in an a bins. So, bin is an a command uh, which makes us to collect all your uh, responses uh, under uh, your uh, 
simulation report tools. So, what I am doing I can have an a printing option uh, or I can have an a, 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 a monitor options to do this values printing the empty bins. So, I am printing the empty bins cross number point print missing to tell the simulation or report tools to show you all bins especially the ones with no hits uh, with wi without any responses if it have any bins. So, you can report it simply I am making out the uh, transaction uh, here I am doing it uh, how many bins I can have all the bins which is reported. So, I will use two commands two variables kind and a port. So, kind and a port I am initializing with an a transaction under a cover point. So, where your cover point is defined your cover point is defined here your cover point is defined here right. So, I am looking at the cover point as an a command with a transaction as a tr. So, it is it is also in one cover group how you are defined here this is the one cover group what you are taken cow port. So, here also I am taking the cow port I am remodifying it. So, kind cover point tr dot kind port cover point tr dot port. So, I will have an a cross a cross coverage I am doing it through an a cross command. So, I will cross the kind and a port both. So, which is definable at a different uh, uh, aspects of the transaction which is happened on a kind and on a port. So, then I am looking at so the re responses uh, under cross coverage on these two uh, variables occurred uh, under an option. So, and I am displaying all the missing uh, all the ports. So, uh, which has no hits which is occurred. So, that is I am using a cross number print missing it is a command bin command. So, which takes which is equal to 1 underscore 0 0 1 is an hit 0 0 is a null null values. You can you, you, you can say to settle so what are all the values you want. So, normally it is so now I am checking with an the ones with the no hits ones with the no hits. So, you can have ones with all the hits also 1 underscore 1 1 1 will be the positive. So, ones with the some hits so maybe 0 0 1 minimum it at least 1 hits. So, 1 with mag medium hits 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 with the maximum lower uh, values. So, 1 with only higher 1 hit. So, 1 with the higher and a lower hit 1 with the higher and a lower hits. So, all this is possible under uh, this. So, coverage goal the goal for a cover group or a point is level at which the group or a point is considered uh, to be fully covered. The default is 100 percent coverage. So, which can be uh, considerable also. So, the cover group so cover port. So, cover point port. So, option dot goal will be equal to 90 settle for partial coverages. So, we will end the groups. So, this is simplest coverage goal. So, which is uh, to be considered uh, under an a coverage values. So, what we need to look set on on a coverages. So, we simply declared it. So, we look set on the code coverage expression coverage etcetera which is automatically inferred also. So, the functional coverages goes on specifies what how and when to gather the cover to cover the data to, ga to co gather the whole coverage of the data which needs to be presented. So, normally the objective is to reach 100 percent coverage uh, for the verification uh, to work to be considered to be completed may not be uh, there, but practically it will not be an unachievable uh, for any designs uh, which is looks at on. So, uh, we expected 100 percent coverage, but uh, so the coverage may not be an 100 uh, will not be obtained as an 100 percent. Why it is not obtained? Because so all clearance of the bugs is not possible or some of the bugs may not be important uh, aspects for your design also. So, so that 
so you will not make out uh, so those things to be uh, 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 appear um, uh, on these uh, values, uh, which depends on how you can make out the coverage analysis uh, on these uh, uh, aspects uh, also. <coughs> So, functional coverage with the triggering events. So, let us say, so I have an uh, uh, to take the triggering events which is occurable uh, at different uh, points uh, for an, uh, different uh, coverages also. Let us say bit B signal, so which is uh, 2 bits of size. So, I am just defining uh, the event occurrence on an uh, B. I am checking so at what event this should have to take any triggering. So, I will make out an a cover group C G, uh, which takes up the negative edge of the clock at the negative edge of the clock, which is goes at this point. So, I will make out an a cover point for B. So, what is my transaction? My transaction is this negative edge of the clock. So, what I am making out? I am making out to assign the value for the B on every negative edge of the clock. So, I am covering that point where the B will be uh, occurred. So, B converter will be is equal to cover point B, so which is uh, considered to be an end. So, CG, CG instant will be equal to new. Always sample on every negative clock edge the value of B. At the end of the simulation, we can get the result in the form of 125 times the B was 0, 0, 0. So, that is, so the B will not get any values for 125 negative edge of the clock. 48 times the B was 0, 1. So, next 48 negative edge of the clock, so the value is 0, 1. And again in another 70 times that is 70 negative edge of the clock it is 1 0, this is 0 0, this is 0. And again in 1 1 3 times the B value is 1 1, that is 1 1 3 times of the negative edge of the clock the B value is 1 1. So, what is the total sampled clock? The total sampled clock is 125 plus 48 plus 70 plus 113. So, you need to calculate this. So, 8 plus uh, 5, uh, 8, 8, 16, 1, 7, 3, 10, 5, 15, 5, 3, 56 clock. So, that is it. So, to attain all the values of the P, from 0, 0 to 0, 1, 0, 1 to 1, 0, 1, 0 to 1, 1, I need to have an 356 negative edge of the clock which is sampled. So, with respect to that, that sampling, so again, so that is depends on your design also, your bus characteristics or your design characteristics also, it goes on varies with respect to that. So, what is the minimum parameters here? The minimum parameter is 0, 1. So, that is an at least value which needs to be considered. If B is never 0, 1, then we have a coverage hole. So, 75 percent of the coverage only it is they considered. So, under N45, right. So, under N356, it is very minimum to that value. It is possible to specify a minimum amount of hits for a bin uh, to be considered as uh, covered uh, values. So, which may be goes on uh, varies with respect to so, those values. So, what is our major interest uh, under this? Our major interest under this is how you can make out an a coverage uh, values uh, with, uh, with a different triggering events. So, you, you can have a n number of triggering events. So, that n number of triggering events will be occurred. So, for this, so let us say, so I can take another one uh, C conver coverage. So, which is, is equal to cover point of uh, reset. So, now I will check the clock to an reset. So, similarly you can do the triggering event for your T flip flop, simple uh, T flip flop and make it to happen uh, the T flip flop under 
this uh, categories also. So this that simply explains us. So whenever how many toggling states considered? So that toggling state itself will be will be your number of triggering events, which is uh, considered to be taken to define uh, these uh, values uh, for these uh, parameters. Uh, so with no triggering events, so I'm just put. Okay, so I will stop here. So.